spark spark like the faults in your body to create another hole. Christian Yu smells oh like sex. Someone's gonna pounce on my dick. Someone wants to eat my arm. Wolf wolf bitch. G'day guys, this is um Christian Yu, otherwise known as DPR Ian, and I'm here with BuzzFeed. And today, oh boy, I'm going to be reading your thirst tweets. I'm gonna say I've never done this before. I've seen it, seen it everywhere, and I've never wondered how I would react to this. I'm actually curious myself, honestly. <laughs> So I'm going in. Goodness, already. I just be horny and love Christian you. <laughs> I just be horny. I hope you calm down a little. Oh boy. <laughs> I love you too. On to the next. If they get DPI Ian to read thirst tweets, I might have to delete my account. Well, this wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, I hope you don't delete your account. Goodness. Are you horny too? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> Jesus Christ, I cannot. Okay, so it's like this. This is so interesting. I've never actually sat down and read those tweets that are kind of like this. My goodness. Yeah, but please don't delete your account. Oh, DPI Ian could fold me like an origami. And I would thank him for folding you like an origami. That sounds terrible. <laughs> goodness, I would hate to do that. that. That's almost like a contortionist, isn't it? But oh boy, I'm sure there's like a, a different meaning to this. It sounds almost a little sexual, doesn't it? It is. Oh, it is. <laughs> Okay, makes sense. All right. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at this. Um, it's very visual. Folding someone like an origami, that's doesn't sound too nice. Unless you're really flexible. Christian Yu posting that shirtless video is why I decided to pull my life together once again. I'm quite confused about this one. Um, does that mean I kind of slapped some sense into you with that shirtless video? Is why I decided to put my life together once again. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, it's a good thing. Oh, okay. I thought like when she saw that, they didn't like it. So they were like, I gotta get focused again. I gotta get my life back together. I was living under a rock. I did not know Christian Yu and DPR Ian were the same fing person. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame you. I like DPR Ian for the music and Christian Yu for his hot, sexy, goofy, awkward self. Goodness, I mean, I am the same person. But I guess while well, on stage, I'm, you know, DPR Ian. People probably know me like that. But you know, I am Christian Yu and I am pretty goofy. But I'm so glad you think that. And how do you feel now that it's the same person? Oh man, I'm, I'm, this is this is crazy. I just, I just don't know how to, this is like the first time I'm reading any of these. So this person just remembered, Christian Yu is a Virgo man. You know what, I'm, I like astrology, it's quite accurate. But what does that mean? And two breaking heart emojis. What does a Virgo man mean? Oh, is that what it is? I break two hearts. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Really? I hope I don't break anyone's heart. I've had my heart broken a few times. If that's what that means, it's pretty accurate. But I do only have one heart. Okay, this next one is a, is a bit of a task. This message is to DPR Ian. <coughs> arf, 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 woof, woof, arf, 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 bark, bark. That is all. Hashtag tweet CLO. I believe that I was meant to simulate a wild animal noise. I just realized what this was. Uh, at some of our shows, sometimes people start barking. Is that kind of like hooting your horn at somebody? Oh, okay, I love it. I love it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I, I just cannot. My goodness, I could just read this all day. I need to make DPR Ian my baby girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've heard it all. People call me daddy, mommy, and now baby girl. Come here, pretty boy, and sit on my lap. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'll gladly oblige. Uh, if someone said that to me in real life, I don't know how I'd react. I think I'll say, okay, I'll, I'll be right there. So thank you. Thank you, sweetie. I'll be on your lap pretty soon. Oh, goodness. Call me old fashioned, but I was raised to serve DPR Ian. <laughs> he got me there. I clean the dishes and cook him food. I do whatever he says because he's my husband and he makes the rules around the house. He owns me. If he ever cheats on me, it's because I was lacking. I feel so bad all of a sudden. I don't know why. No. Don't ever feel bad, you're not lacking. I don't know why it feels so personal right now. <laughs> Goodness, I can do the dishes, I can do the food. I'm a pretty good cook myself. And no, you're definitely not lacking. And if I ever cheat, which I won't, by the way, I'm not that type of person. It's because I screwed up, so I'm sorry. Goodness, I wrote a whole story. It feels like I'm in a movie right now. STFU, which is shut the f up. No one talks to me. I saw sweat trickling down DPR Ian's abs. No, you did not. You did not see sweat trickling down anyone's abs because I've never seen Sweat trickling down my abs at all. Does DPR Ian slash Christian Yu want another dog? Oh my goodness, I already know where this is gonna go. Cause I can bark wolf wolf bitch, all right? Oh my God. This whole dog thing, going whole animalistic and wild. I love it. It, it seems like you're untamed. You're definitely barking up the right tree. <laughs> okay. We need to talk about how much Riz DPR Ian has like. It's unbelievable. I'm so sorry. What is Riz? Charisma. Oh. What? People call it 
Riz? I knew that. Can we edit that part out? <laughs> Yeah, people call me a boomer. This is the most flattering uh, tweet I think I've ever seen. Really? Someone thinks I have that much game? You think that about me? I'm a true introvert. So I've always had trouble even talking to someone that I had a feeling for. So I don't think I've ever talked game before, actually, which is why it's quite rather interesting. This has me thinking quite a lot. I know I shouldn't be so deep about these tweets, but I'm not sure if these are third tweets anymore. Riz, learn something new every day. I had a dream where Christian Yu was my daddy. And and sorry, what? Um, he made me lick his boots. Then I woke up in a cold sweat. It sounds like a terrible nightmare <laughs> if you ask me. And you just woke up from a nightmare. That, that's what usually happens when you wake up from a nightmare. You start sweating or a fever dream. It sounds like a fever dream. I made you lick my boot. Uh, I don't think I would ever do that to anybody. That's enough to make anyone sick, but thank you. I would gladly be your daddy. You know, in the beginning, I thought daddy was actually like people calling me dad and I was so baffled, but now I get it. These emoticons are getting me. What is that? Is that a tomato? No, it's a red face and it's sweating. Her or star eyes. And then you have spank me daddy with an unusual crinkly face. That sounds like a whole experience. That sounds like me when I eat something spicy. I just, I cannot um, with the whole daddy thing. I've heard spank me before. Who hasn't? I love it, you know, but thank you. I'll gladly spank you. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that. People think I'm actually like this. No, I'm not like this. Am I blushing? Am I getting red? I think I feel like I'm getting red. Deep Throat Ian can choke and step on me. It sounds like we're in MMA or something, you know, and then grab my hair until I go bold. And I'll still be thankful for it. If you're bold, I would never do that. That sounds terrifying. If someone grabbed my hair and then just ripped the living hair out of me, I'll be absolutely petrified. Is this like legal? Like, are we allowed to say any, all of this? I, I think I'll pass on this one, but hey, whatever rocks your world, I'm here for it. Next one. It sounds so innocent. Oh my God, until you read the... <laughs> That's like a little bit of Jekyll and Heidi going on here. I would let DPI Ian rearrange your guts. Rearrange your guts. And you have the nice little star signs as if it's like something that a fairy would say. Oh boy, it's, it's getting more and more violent as we go on, ladies and gentlemen. Rearrange your guts. Like how? How would you rearrange it? Why would you want to rearrange your guts? Well, let me think. Really? So everyone knows this? You're internally having your guts rearranged. Why would you do that? Does that mean like I make you like sick to the stomach because of how I guess hot someone is? I'm a little confused on this one. I'm gonna look it up a little bit later. Hopefully it's... <laughs> I shouldn't do that. It's kind of weird how everyone knows this. <laughs> Christian you choke me, marry me and kill me. All of the above now, is it? I feel like a murderer at this point. I feel like I'm being investigated for something. This is quite terrifying. <laughs> First it's rearranged someone's guts and then now it's like I'm marrying you and killing you at the same time. I'll leave the killing part out, but okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. This one's a little bit better. So apparently Christian Yu smells sexy. Do I smell sexy? Well, I smell all right. <laughs> Can you say it again, how it's written? Yes. So apparently Christian Yu smells... Oh, like sex. Did I... Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. I... <laughs> See, those are two totally different meanings. I'll still smell myself. I don't know. I don't think I... Not that I... I'll leave it up to you. Uh... <laughs> On to the next. Christian Yu was literally having his breakfast and he turned me on. We can't be couple because I might die from orgasms without having him touching me. Like literally his visual can make me wet. Was it always like this? Was all the other third sweets like this? I'm just wondering. This is quite graphic. Holy moly. Macaroni, this, this is insane. Oh boy, I, I feel like this is, this is so illegal and I'm still rereading it. Uh, I might die, from, just trying to get it. Orgasms without having him touching me like literally his vision can make, okay. Thank you. I don't know what, sh what I was having for breakfast, but I'll think about that next time I have breakfast. Christian Yu, you owe my ovaries an apology. I'm sorry to your ovaries. <laughs> I'll, I would like to apologize. I hope, <laughs> I'll just stop here, man. It's getting a little hot. It's getting pretty hot in here. I'm not sure if it's the studio lights, but it's, it's getting pretty hot. Insane. Oh goodness. DPR Ian, more like DPR eat me now. Oh boy. I know what that means. So I'm not gonna reiterate this. I know what that means. I will give you eight points for creativity. -ness. That's quite a that's a name I've never heard before. DPR eat me now. Okay. Later. <laughs> Wait, no, not later. What are you talking about? Goodness, how how many of these are there? Good morning. I just wanna say that DPR Ian, rail me, please, sir. Rail you. Toot toot. Um on to the next. DPR Ian is probably one of the few guys I'd let it hit it. Whoa, whoa. Like, Lord, have mercy. It says with a TH. I don't know if that was deliberate, but it adds a lot to this right now. I don't care if I get 
knocked up, it'd be worth it. Let's make us a little dreamers family. I like how you said dreamers family. You're very inclusive of that. And you don't care if you get knocked up. I'm trying to um, remember what that means. If that means you knocked up means getting pregnant. It'd be worth it. Oh dear. Hit it raw. So, okay, it makes a lot of sense now. That, that means you, you probably get a high percentage of getting pregnant. I get it. <laughs> why was that so hard to like? But thank you. Who is Christian Yu? And why do I want to pounce on his dick? Like pounce like a cat or something on my dick. Why do you want to do that? Pounce. Dear DPR Ian, as if this was meant to be like a nice letter. I want to eat your thick two C's ass. Sincerely, me. You want to eat my thick ass? Oh boy, how do you know it's thick? You want to eat my thick ass? What are you going to eat it with? A spoon? Someone's going to pounce on my dick. Someone wants to eat my ass. I'm getting destroyed here. Christian Yu, would you like to? Of course. Dick me down, it's for science, hun. Why would that be for science? Dicking someone down? Does that mean something? Am I missing something again? Usually people would say that when they're resorting to something and they're making an, ex an excuse for it. But this is pretty uh, direct. I don't think you need to excuse yourself with the science. It, I think that makes it a little bit more confusing. Just say you want to dick me down. I'm over it now. I'm used to it now. I'm so numb. I'm getting my ass eaten, my dick pounced. If deeper in needs a hole, he can use all three, then I'll pull apart the folds of space to create new ones just for him. Whoa, let me, okay, let me just, let me just really breathe this one in. If deep here in needs a hole, like a hole, he can use all three. All three, what do you mean by that? This sounds more like a science question. I'll pull apart the folds of space to create new ones. What do you mean by three holes? Are you talking about the holes on your body? No, including the one on my bum. I think that's four. So you're a little wrong there. I got four holes. About two here, one there, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six holes. What are you talking about? I'll pull apart the folds of space to create new ones. Like the folds in your body to, to create another hole. To create new ones just for him. Oh, on you. Oh, wait, sorry. This is on me. Still, we all have two nostrils, two ear holes. It's, it still applies to you at the same time. Oh, to create new ones. No, no, you're fine with the, the, the three holes. No, no, please don't do that. That would be awkward. I, I would hate to see a hole on your thigh or something like that. Please, three holes are, is, is plenty. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, I don't know why this is so hard. Well, thank you. No need to do that, dear. Oh my gosh, and that was it? I cannot right now. This is insane. Man, this was crazy. Wow. Yes, pl please. My hands are just like, I'm frozen in space right now. How do I feel? How does everyone else feel right now? I don't think it's valid for me right now. I don't know how to feel. I feel like I got destroyed some, well, somehow. I feel pretty weird, but I'm flattered. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what? It's like one of those, um, it's like if people had these thoughts, you know, those uh, thoughts running through your head and then it just happened to end up on tweet. That's kind of what it feels like right now. But it's good. It's good to know. You guys are very uh, creative. I'll give you that. It's kind of weird to promote something right now. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, I'm so, so those are my thirst sweets uh, here at BuzzFeed. I am absolutely burning up right now. Um, make sure to listen to Dear Insanity. If that makes you horny too, then I am completely lost for words. <laughs>